It was. That was my very first time in Japan. I didn't know what to expect, really, especially when I first got there. And I, you know, I get in Tokyo. I have about a day there. Then I go to, uh, no, then I went to Miyazaki, uh, covered uh, the Czech Republic, uh, Team China, and uh, Australia, their workouts. Then I went to Osaka and was there for the ex exhibition games against uh, Buffaloes and Tigers, and then back to Tokyo. So yeah, it was my first time. But I did find, so I'm in Brooklyn, about a half mile away from me, there's a little, tiny little market uh, slash art gallery slash like nail salon, but in the market they carry a bunch of uh, Japanese snacks. And over the weekend, they carry uh, Japanese convenience store sandwiches. So there's like the pork katsu sandwich, and my favorite, the dessert sandwich, the the berries and cream one. So if I go there on Saturdays or Sundays only, I can get the the berries and cream sandwich. Some of the chips they had, and they were like six dollars per bag. And uh, a, a few few people who follow me who are, who live in Japan were like, "That's like five times what you're gonna pay here." So maybe every time instead of getting a snack, I'll put the money aside, and then I'll have enough for another plane ticket to go back to Tokyo. Yeah, there's so many differences in really fun ways. Um, one thing I noticed, uh, I, I was with another writer. He took me to an uh, izakaya, and I told him just to order everything. Like, you know what to do. And it was amazing. I loved all the food we had. But I had to apologize to him to him midway through the meal because it was so quiet in there. And I realized that I was essentially yelling. And in America, there's background noise and everybody's speaking loudly. And like halfway through our meal, it's like, I am so sorry. I am yelling and everyone else is speaking so quietly. Like I'm a louder person amongst Americans, but like at that dinner, I like realized all of a sudden, but no, no. So my number one is probably uh, Japanese curry. Um, like curry rice, uh, or like katsu and, and curry. Um, that's probably like my number one like meal. Um, but I had a lot of great meals. Uh, you know, the izakaya and the sashimi was great. And like I, back in the States, I'm not a huge sushi or sashimi person, but I ate a lot of it there and I loved it. I said, you know, those cream sandwiches, to me, that's like my number one dessert now. Like I love berries and cream so the fact that i could go to a convenience store at night you know on my way home or whatever i love the snacks uh i mean oh um kabukiyake uh the rice cracker chip is now my favorite thing to have if i'm meeting friends for beer i'll grab a, a thing of kabukiyake and we'll snack on that i miss I, mean, I miss so much about uh being in japan but those are those are probably the the top be at the stadium some days i was at the stadium like 16 hours and so sometimes we'd get dinner at like one or two in the morning and the only thing that would be open would be like the Japanese barbecue places. Unbelievable food, but what we paid was like a fraction of what we would pay. Like we got the bill at the end and I was always scared and then I'd see it and be like, oh, this is comparatively to like what I would pay in New York for this. This is, this is nothing. And like for the quality of like the cuts of meat and everything, like just unbelievable. What I loved was, um, I mean, I, I loved everything. I loved so much. I mean, I the respect that people have for each other, I think, was really um, refreshing. You know, you saw that from in baseball stadiums, the way that the Japanese fans treated the teams, the way they ended up cheering and supporting for the Czech Republic. But even the, the away team would have batting practice and they would get a, a, a rousing round of applause when they finished. Like, I've never seen that in the States. Like, the team that we're playing is going to be cheered for for playing this great game but you know that extends to you know whether i was out and about and you know someone realized i needed help with something you know because i was kind of like looking on my phone <laughs> trying to figure something out or um you know even just when i'd be buying some souvenirs the amount of um help they would give me to talk about things or i, I bought jeans and i i loved uh, one of the things i look forward to is japanese denim so i bought some and I, i've told people that trying on a pair of jeans was like being fitted for a suit like the level of like care um was really refreshing but no everybody was and I'm, I'm very lucky everyone i met was so kind and warm and welcoming and seemed to want to make sure that 
from the hotel to other writers to just people I ran into, you know, on the streets, everyone was just so warm and, and welcoming and um, made me feel really welcome to be in the country. So I, I think that's probably the number one thing that, that stood out to me.